Taking a look at this mission here, you can see uh, we're going to need to do a little bit of development. Uh, every purple province needs to be developed at least three times. And uh, we will be able to have this mission done, which is going to give us some pretty gnarly bonuses. Name, namely, the 10% dev cost for the rest of the game, which is insane. As well as the rest of the Persia region will have the uh, Ab Anbar upgraded. And uh, that's pretty solid. So we're going to work on that a little bit today. Um, but I do apologize before we get into it. I am I woke up with some like heartburn and I had like a coughing attack and my throat's a little sore. Had too much beef brisket yesterday. I think it's goofing up my stomach. But regardless, everybody, welcome back to Iran Shar here in uh, the Expanded Mod Family. I hope you guys have been enjoying. This province, this one right here, I needed to devil province one time or twice or something like that. So we're going to get that mission done, which is good. And uh, now... As far as I know, these highlighted ones need to be developed, and it'll say, has been developed. So if I click that button there, then that one should be gone. Okay, very good. We can do this. We can totally do this. So just go around. Since we're so far ahead of time on mill, I don't particularly care. And now on the yearly tick, I still should be able to take it. I want to make sure that I'm getting the innovativeness if I can. All right, a little bit of unrest. A little bit of something, something from our subjects here. Now, our truce with Gudra isn't going to be up for a minute. Yeah. That's the, the next major war we're looking for. And then in a couple of years, since we've just revoked these guys' status, we'll be able to, uh, to integrate them. Yeah. Ten years from now. So, that's fine. Um, We definitely need to improve relations with them. They're upset with us. Royal Mary for 5% loyalty. Always, always, always do that if you can. Yeah, sadly, we lo missed out on the tech. I clicked the dev button too many times. It's okay. Or the innovativeness, rather. But it's not a big deal. I don't I don't actually care a whole lot. Uh, So, let's see here. I think we've got basically everything we need. I guess we'll go with recruitment time. Bigger armies. Now, yeah. It would be better for us to build up these universities. So... Let's go ahead and get rid of this monthly tech, monthly point there, and then swap that out with Indebted to the Burgers. That will give us enough money to buy lots and lots of these. Make sure that we have our construction cost discount here. Let's also go ahead and sell titles there. That's fine. As long as we're over 60, that's all that really matters. And now you can see we've got 12,000 ducats, which is great. Uh, sort by this, and let's get out the auto clicker. Again, I always get asked, Melva... I've said it like five times this series. It's called Auto Clicker by Shocker. And you just click the button. And uh, it'll d build all the buildings for me. Look at that. Bunch of universities. And the reason why I'm building universities, for those who do not know, for those who are not in the know, it uh, basically gives the plus, uh, plus one possible number of buildings, which essentially means that you can build it in every province regardless because it adds a building slot and then takes up that building slot. So it has nothing to do with the current amount of building slots available. So you, if you can't build in a province, you should still probably be able to build a university. But the main thing is, is it gives 20% local dev cost, which is um, statistically significant. So that's what we're going with today. Um, well, now that we're, you know, not going to get innovativeness, I don't care. So we'll uh, wait for those universities to finish up. It's nice because I can still build like two a month. And uh, now I'd like to focus on specifically these areas, but I think we, yeah, yeah, I guess we can just do that. In the provinces that need uh, to be developed. Let's see here. Can I actually click the mission here and then come in here and build? Oh, it doesn't keep them in purple. Feels bad, man. It'd be cool if it did. Yeah, because any of these provinces that have the purple outline need to have a university built so I can develop them cheaper. Now, also remember that in a trade company, well, you can min-max it a lot. Like, you could, if I wanted to, I could do the, the development edict. Uh, now, in the provinces that are, like, particularly poo-poo, I probably will do that. Like, the ones that are really bad about development, like, uh, deserts and mountains and whatnot. Some rebels. Rebel, rebel. All right. Let's, um... You guys gonna handle your rebels there? be cool if you did make sure we're continuing to convert everything bulgaria over here has one province left mr ragusa has it 
Curious if we should go for it. Maybe we should eventually. I don't know. I do not know. But it's okay. Either way is not a big deal. I uh, might as well click those belt provinces there as well. And we'll probably focus on this area over here in Kabul. Kabulistan. And uh, I should get us. I don't know. We also need some prosperity. What was it this one said? The Khorasan region. So. 25% prosperity. So I think we're pretty much good. We'll have that within a couple of months. Everything over here is in the Khorasan region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just a couple months and we'll be able to get that. And then we just need to get these buildings built up so we can get more development cost over here. And we should be good. But I do hope you guys have been enjoying the run. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Normally, you know, I try to nip my series. Don't let them go too long. But man, after third Odyssey in this one, <laughs> we've been going for the long haul. But uh, speaking of, though, if you guys are interested in some shorter form content, I do have a second channel called Chubert. I know I shout it out a lot, but I have been putting in work on that channel. I have been working so hard on that channel, in fact, that I feel very confident in saying that it'll probably become my main channel here. Um, not that I won't, not that I would ever forget about this channel here, because, you know, this channel here is uh, my roots, it's where I come from. But um, speaking of, it's where you come from. Name that band. A really good song. But, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, just a little bit of real talk with you guys. If, if you're interested in some extra EU4 content, check out Jubert. I, I have been absolutely grinding on that channel. Plenty of awesome videos to come. I'm very excited to share them with you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and click this a couple times. That once. See, like this one here needs three. Let me click that one there. This one here's got three. So now those provinces are all excluded from that. So that's why we're building these universities over here. Try to build it in every province. A little bit of microwing might be necessary just to make sure that we're saving. Because, I mean, 20% dev cost is, is very significant. You definitely want that if you can get it. So let's see here. Over, So I need one here and one here, and then we're good. The sooner I get them built, the sooner I can actually develop them, right? Looks like I lost my guy here. Um... Let's see here. Some of these guys actually have a second. Like, look at that. Cost to promote mercantilism. I do wish it showed up over here. I don't know if that's just an Artemis thing. Like, why it doesn't show up there. I wish it did, though. Artemis hasn't really done much for his mod in a while, sadly. Alright, let's see here. That's it. Alright, so... All these provinces over here should have universities built on them now. Yep, I believe so. Cool. All right. So again, we don't want to make sure we want to make sure we're staying ahead of time on the tech. But if we got two years, we might. That means we've got a few hundred development to be working with. So let's like pick an area and go with that. Yep, like over here. I'll put these guys on local dev cost, and that will give us. You just hover over there. Say so two clicks there. This one here's been approved eight times. Zero times. Three. So then you click that again. This area is good. Parse the stand over here. Get the dev cost. Again, one click. Three clicks. Five times. This one here is zero times. So then something like that. And now you can see these two areas are now cleaned up. So then we'll just have to gradually go through these. And uh, over time, it will be good. And again, staying ahead of time on tech is is the major thing. And all this development or all this development we're doing is also going to increase our income, which is going to be extremely useful. Each province in the capital area, yeah. So that's not useful. Now, am I worried about a coalition? Doesn't seem like they're worried about me. That's interesting. All right. And uh, honestly, I kind of want to make a cut here because I know that this is going to be a little micro-intensive. 
put you guys on local dev costs. This province here has been improved zero times. And I'm trying to focus on production and manpower dev, since that's what's going to make us the most money in the long term. The dev cost is super affordable, though. We can still take these techs. So then you see here, this area is now handled as well. Put these guys on local dev cost. Zero times. One time. There you go, something like that. And um, I'm not going to do any more development, at least until we take these techs. Well, okay, just kidding. We can still do a little bit more, which is good. Um... I guess manufactories would probably be appropriate, yeah? Just get some manufactories built, especially in provinces that we are steering heavily from. Anything in our home node, gonna have to go through and start deleting buildings and building up manufactories. That is how you maximize your income. That is how you do it. Obviously, we're gonna want to get a little bit of extra trade power up here. Like, Ostr oops, Ostrakhan is a trade center, yeah? No, it's just an estuary? Oh, okay. Okay. So it's over here. Oh, these guys are... Oh, it's Muscovy. What the heck? I thought this was Golden Horde. Muscovy is a PU under the Commonwealth, but they are disloyal, huh? Man. We might have to do this. Because this trade power over here, that would allow us to take a ton of land over here in Ostracon. We could go all the way up this way. The more trade power we have in this node, you can see there's there's 20 ducats heading up this way and 10 going out this way. If I collect, if I had this power, I would propagate that up. And then Aleppo, we're already pretty good. You know, upgrade these guys over here. This alone, upgrading these alone will increase our income. Take a look. 216 will go up. Okay, 217. <laughs> but um, most of it is going towards Aleppo, actually. Interesting. Hmm. We're collecting quite a bit in Constantinople. All right. Probably should upgrade a couple of these guys. This one's our capital. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Well, eventually we're going to have to wait on it. I mean, you can we can have up to 10 level 3 centers of trade. If you don't know, you can have one level 3 center of trade per merchant you have available. It's a weird mechanic, but that's how it works. So 216 should turn into like 220. Like level 3s are important. Yeah, two, yeah, there you go. And so this will just help you snowball. Jagatai has a OPM over here next to Kiva. I think we're going to do this. Um, taking a look at our unrest. Yeah, I think we can spare some armies. Um, it's these guys over here, man. Just got all these rebels coming on. Um, all right, let's have you guys over here. These armies are just chilling over here. We have a lot of unrest in our vassals land over here. A little bit, but it's not that bad. I reckon we can pull these guys up here. All right, let's have you guys do that. And then we've got another 32 stack over here. Is there a fort in Constantinople? Level 2 fort. We should probably upgrade that. Should probably actually build some forts, like, in my subject's land in general. But it looks like they've been uh, handling a lot of that stuff. Speaking of, let's look at our latent goods now. Yeah, I don't really want to touch the wood. I would really like to get some cannons, but we don't have any tin. That is the issue we're running into. We need tin. I, if, I, you just click on a province, it'll tell you. So, yeah. We really don't have any tin. Because it's based on your goods produced, and it looks like there is nothing near us. We'd have to get down into VJ and dev the crap out of this province and get a manufactory on it. Aside from that, yeah, there's nothing. Okay. I am going to also... Let's see here. What's our force limit? Uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of force limit to spare. Let's take a look at our combat width now. 32, so we're still good with this template here. So we'll have those guys conform. I think this 32 stat can probably just honestly chill out here. Get a general on you. We'll have miltech advantage on, on them. Well, we'll have miltech. 20. Yeah. Killing grounds. So we'll be even with them. Right. Truce with VJ is over. Yeah, Coalition may actually start growing now. 
I'm not really too bothered about it, honestly. All right. Take all three techs. There we go. Governing capacity through the roof, which is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. All right. So since we're now over here, put these guys on dev cost. One click there. These guys on dev cost. Zero times. You just got to click the button a few times. Twice here. And you just got to work through over here. Now, obviously, we're going to have to do a little bit of admin dev. That's okay with me. I just, I'm avoiding it if I can. It's generally not, not, uh, not good. But since we have such an excess of it. You can see we've developed some of these provinces quite a few times. Um, where are we at here? I missed this one a little bit. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now I'm just kind of going by region. See, these, this province here needs a little bit of love. Put you on dev cost. Okay, oopsies. Double, I clicked that too many times, but that's okay. And we got these two over here. So let's go with you. One click there. This one here. Three clicks here. I wonder if, uh, does that count? It does. Nice. So now you can see we've got all these ones done over here. Most of these ones done over here. Now we just have to work through over here. And it looks like most of them are pretty good. And this one over here. And also, don't forget to uh, turn these guys off. You can do it after one year. It just costs money. It increases the state maintenance. It doesn't cost you anything other than that. Um, I will put this one on defensiveness over here, though. A state you up. I don't know why you're not stated. Because that, uh, is it trade company over here? Oh, actually, I should probably trade company this. It may have actually been trade company and I didn't see it. You can also put defensiveness here, which is good. And, uh, oh, wow, that increases our income a bit as well. Nice. Also upgrade you, which will increase that from 108 up to like probably, yep. <laughs> so strong, dude. So strong. Now, I should probably trade Company Aleppo, honestly. Probably should. But uh, yeah, you can see how much trade power is still getting steered out of there. Let's get this guy upgraded to a level three, probably. That alone will get this up. Let's uh, upgrade you, upgrade you. Honestly, I've, I've neglected this quite a bit. This will increase our income significantly. And then we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to, um, get my armies sorted out here. I'm taking a little bit of attrition over there. I don't particularly care a whole lot. There you go. Upgrade you to level three, 131. So this was like 90 something at the beginning of the episode up to 144. And you can see we're, <laughs> we're still losing a ton. Isn't that nuts? How much we're losing, even though we're still like killing it. I think that's hilarious. All right, let's get you devved up. There we go. This is fine. Just, you know, increase by, by these guys up. That's a level three already. Very good. All right, cool. So this army here is ready to roll over here, over here. These guys over here. I think that's fine. Yes, 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 yes. I don't have anybody suppressing rebels over there. But uh, all is well. Nope. Reinforce speed, 20%. Jeez, OP, man. I'm not losing 5% professionalism. You can kiss my butt. You can kiss my butt. All right, let's go ahead and holy war these guys. They'll call in Mecklenburg, Gotland. Commonwealth, of course, because they are their overlord. Let's get an extra general on here. Oh, nice. So we just get free reign over here. And then do something like this. As they start to bring their armies over, obviously we're, we'll step up our game. I imagine Bulgaria is just going to get full occupied. I don't particularly care, if I'm being honest. And, uh... Just get these guys all occupied over here. How much men they got? 
Ha <laughs> ha, quarter of a million. Yeah. They're ready. They are ready. Okay, they definitely have some armies over here. Let's uh bring those guys over there, scorch that. Those rebels are probably down here. Yeah. Hmm. I reckon I reckon I could just uh have these guys do something like that and uh, they'll snake over and handle those. That's fine with me. We don't need to micro it too much. Okay, so I will get this army together. Aha, here you go. We'll repay those loans as we're able. Here we go. Get our armies grouped up over here. I eh, probably don't want to go smaller than a 16 stack. Actually, just kidding. We're going to go over here and do this. So Now, Muscovy is disloyal, so they will not... Oh, no, they're not. Sheesh, they were a second ago. All right, so let's get these guys over here on Bessarabia. Do they have ships down here? So I see 33. I wonder if my uh, if my galleys over here are up to snuff. Nope, they all need upgraded. That's okay. There you go. That one that one shock three maneuver. O P O P. As soon as we can get Bessarabia siege down, we can track trap all these guys over here, and uh, you know, take them to town. Take out the trash, if you will. And uh, we should probably make sure we are splitting up our armies. Hitting them on multiple fronts. Always good. I long... You've got to be shitting me. How did they... Oh, the fort didn't get done. So I just lost all my ships here. Damn. Okay, that's fine. They were getting repaired. So that's a... Uh, that's just me not paying attention there. Feels bad. Okay, that's fine. 30 more galleys on the way. That will give us naval dominance. We're gonna need it, otherwise we're not gonna be able to cross these straits here. That's okay though. We will make it work. That's a large portion of their entire army is over here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, those guys are coming for me actually. Let's barrage those walls, 28%. Okay, we won this siege over here. Always take your 10 to ones. I don't think so, homie. Win Bessarabia? Come on now. Yikes. Yeah, they're reinforcing. Damn, dude. Here's the part where they start uh, bringing hundreds of thousands of men into one single province and you have to micro the crap out of it or else you will lose. Because late game EU4 is fun, right? <laughs> we, we That's why we play this game is to have fun. Okay. Let's uh, get you guys down there. Good general. They're going to reinforce... But I think we're okay. Get those guys over here. Get those guys up here. Manufactories is spawned. Very cool. We are definitely going to lose that one as well. Unfortunate. Oh, just kidding. We won. Uh, Yarkan gets some liberty desires. Or, yeah, it's fine with me. So they want... Dude... Oh, they're all level two, I bet. Yep. This one over here is also level two. AI is just gonna... Damn it, man. These guys over here are getting... Can I please retreat? Let me retreat. This... There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Late game EU4 is insufferable. I bet they took quantity as well, didn't they? No, no quantity. They did take Aristo. So that means their cav have some bonuses as well. Humanist defensive. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. I probably should have taken offensive, yeah? I haven't taken offensive. I should take offensive. That'll probably be our next group. But we already have three mill groups. Um, what about firepower? Firepower is always a good one. But uh, offensive has been buffed and idea groups reworked. I don't know. Leave a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think we should go for our next idea group. I'm definitely curious. If you're enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. As I said before, if you want to check out my second channel, Chubert, you can check it out. Links are in the description below the videos. And, um... Oh my gosh. This is going to be painful. Luckily for us, we are inflicting massive casualties on them. And, uh, I reckon their manpower pool is not as deep as ours, so... 
for better or for worse. Let's go ahead and flee. So we lost like 17,000. They lost like 19. So those losses are actually comparable. Damn. And this is a holy war. So we need we need to win the fights. Let's see here. Can I get um, infantry combat? That's not going to do us anything. I guess we'll go with discipline. Just kidding. He does not an accepted culture. But yeah. If you guys want to check out, um, you know, the, the, the video on screen right now, there's a YouTube who's going to recommend you something. They think you're going to like it. I think you will as well. If you want to join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter, it is all linked in the description below my videos. So uh, make sure you check those out. If you want to support me and get early access to Chubert videos, you can check out my Patreon linked in the description below. And that's all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and we'll catch you guys later.